Senior High Icons, welcome to ICIAP My E-Class. I'm Mr. Aldrin Sikitin, the strand head of the Humanities and Social Sciences strand. Okay, so now we are on lesson 5. And on this lesson, we're going to talk about the basics of summarizing. So in this lesson, I'm going to give you uh, ideas on what summarizing is. And then I'm going to uh, give you the benefits that we can get uh, when summarizing or if we are using summarizing or if we are doing or if we summarize texts and tips or ways on how will you summarize or how will uh, summarizing become easier okay so let us start by uh, defining or characterizing what summarizing is okay so summarizing is used to determine the essential ideas in a book article book chapter or parts of an article it include the gists uh, or main idea useful information or key ideas or phrases that may help you uh, meet your reading purpose so basically if you are summarizing you are looking for the essential or the important details or important ideas on a specific text that you are reading basically summarizing is done after reading however it can also be done while you are reading a specific text so for example you may uh, you may do summarizing while reading a text uh, for example after browsing few paragraphs or the first few parts of the text you may now look for some of the important details on those parts so that you will not forget it or some will, uh, somehow you will not misplace those informations after reading a long uh, text okay so you may uh, do it uh, after reading some parts of the text or right after you read the whole text. Next are the benefits that we can get if we are summarizing. First is it deepens our understanding of the text. So it helps us uh, to understand the text that we are reading more okay so it helps us analyze the the information or the ideas presented in the text in that case we can uh, identify the essential ideas from the non-essential ideas on the text okay and then we learn or from it we learn to identify relevant information or key ideas so just like what i have said a while ago it helps us determine those important or significant information it also combine details or examples that support the main idea or the main ideas of a text so from uh, uh in summarizing or if we are uh, summarizing a certain text we can identify what uh, information supports other information so for example uh, on paragraph one you've found or you've identified the main idea and then on the succeeding paragraphs you may somehow identify uh, what ideas on those paragraphs support the main idea on the first paragraph Okay. And it also concentrate on the gists or main idea and keywords presented in the text. So since in summarizing, those are our goal to identify or to find. So summarizing helps us to focus on 
that information to focus on the main idea of the text to fo uh, focus on the topic of the text and lastly uh, summarizing captures the key ideas in the text and put them together clearly and concisely so uh, in summarizing you need to shorten the text you need to compact it in a short paragraph or in just three to five sentences so it helps you uh, transform the text in a short and a uh, shorter version and make it or write it on your own words without changing the meaning of the text okay and at the same time it will also help the readers or other readers to identify or to understand easily the text that you are summarizing so a while back we've discussed or we've identified what summarizing is so now let us identify what is not summarizing okay so you are not summarizing when you are writing down everything so we cannot consider it summarizing since the main purpose of summarizing is to shorten the text okay to make it in a more understandable uh, idea in making it or making it in a more convenient way to understand the text so if you are writing down all of the information basically you are not summarizing Second, uh, you are not summarizing when you write down ideas from the text or from an essay word for word. Okay? If you just copied everything from your source, basically it is not summarizing. Okay? You are also not summarizing when you write down incoherent and irrelevant ideas so the main purpose of summarizing is to identify the gist or the main information on the text so if you are writing uh, the insignificant information basically you are not doing or you are not summarizing if your ideas are incoherent or incoherent basically it is not summarizing since in summarizing you need to identify the main idea and the keywords or key information that support that specific idea or the main idea okay if it is not incoherent if the information does uh do not support each other basically it is not summarizing and lastly you are not summarizing if you are writing down ideas that are not stated in the text or you write down a summary that has the same length or worse longer than the original text okay so if the information you are writing on your summary is not presented on the text that you have summarized technically basically it is not summarizing if your summary it has the same length with the original text it is not summarizing okay since our main purpose or our main goal is to make the text shorter if it is longer than the original text it is the worst case scenario so you do not meet your goals or your objectives in summarizing so those are uh, considered not summarizing okay so keep it in mind that when we are summarizing our main goal is to look uh, to identify the main idea of the text and make it or make make the sh uh, text shorter with those information in mind so what are the ways or what are the techniques that we can use if we're going to summarize a long text so our main goal is to make the text shorter and identify its main idea so the first thing that you must do 
is identify your purpose in reading. So, you must set first your objectives. You must answer first, why do you want to read this specific text? So, if you already have that goal in mind, so you may now proceed in reading the text. Okay? So, the second step or the second way or tip in summarizing is to read the text and understand its meaning. So, your, por, uh, your goal is to identify the main topic or the main idea of the text. Make it shorter without changing the meaning. So, if you have read the text, if you have understood it, your goal now is to retain the message of that specific text. Write it in your own words, but you must not change the meaning of it. Okay? And then, the third uh, step is you are now going to select or identify and underline or encircle the key ideas and phrases while reading. Okay? So, you've, uh, you have read the text, you have understood it, your next uh, step or your next goal is to uh, select the most important details or the details that you will include in your summary. Fourth step is you are now going to write all the key ideas you have identified on the margins. So it is like you are annotating the text. You are writing the main ideas on the margin of the paper or of the text so that you will not forget it okay so that you have something to read or look for after uh, reading the whole text okay and then next the fifth step is you're going to identify the connection of these key ideas and phrases using concept map so you will now use uh, tools that will help you connect the information you've gathered okay so for example which idea or which topic supports one another okay for example the uh, key idea in paragraph 3 support idea or the idea on paragraph uh, 1 so, you may connect those information using a concept map. Number six is listing down ideas in sentence form in a concept map. So, you already have your ideas connected to each other. So, your next goal is to form sentences out of these ideas. Okay? you will now somehow write a draft for that ideas or for those information. And then, number seven is you're going to combine these sentences into paragraph. So, you are now building. Okay? You are now writing down your summary. So, you are now starting to make a draft so that after writing it, you have something to review. And then on the eighth step, you will now ensure that you do not copy a single sentence from the original text. So make sure that all of the information you've gathered is written on your or are written on your own words. Okay? Maintain or retain the meaning of the uh, the text, but state it using your own words. So that is summarizing. If you are just copying information from the original text, you are violating the roles or the characteristics of summarizing. And then number nine is refrain from adding comments about the text. So you need to stick on the ideas it presents. Okay? You are not allowed to give your own opinion you are not allowed to state it based on how you understood the text. You will just state it based on 
its meaning by changing the words. Okay? By changing how it is uh, written on the text. But uh, if someone read your summary, they will understand it the same way they understood the original text. And then number 10 is edit the draft of your summary by eliminating redundant ideas. So you will now proofread your draft. You will now check it. Look for grammatical errors. Look, uh, look for redundancy. If the ideas is or ideas are repeatedly stated, remove those uh, repeated information. Number 11, you are now going to compare your output with the original text to ensure accuracy. So, you will now uh, analyze if your summary has the same meaning or if your summary doesn't change the meaning of the original text. If it is, uh, if the text or if your summary does not change the meaning of the original text, we may say or we can say that you are successful in summarizing the text. Okay? And then number 12, record the details of the original source. So why do we need to record, record it? So we need to record the original details or we need to record the original details or the details of the original text because we are putting it on our reference okay or list of sources even though we've changed the words okay we've changed how it is presented or how the message was presented we are still borrowing ideas and again if we borrowed information or ideas or concept from other person we must cite them or we must include them on our reference list okay so and then lastly format your summary properly so when you combine your summaries in a paragraph use different formats to show variety in writing so in summarizing you may follow different formats or styles okay so we have styles uh, or different formats to use in uh, if we are summarizing a certain text and we are going to discuss it uh, on this lesson okay so if you are now done with your summary you already check it okay you've looked for grammatical errors and correct them you've already cited your sources you may now choose your format to use okay so again we have uh, different formats in summarizing or to use when we are summarizing so the first one is idea heading format so in this format the summarized idea comes before the citation so uh, in this format, basically, the our summary is presented first, and then it is followed by the uh, citation or our source or the source of information. So you may find it in this example. The second format is the author heading format. It is the counter uh, counterpart of the uh, idea heading format. So in author heading format, the summarized idea comes after the citation. So you will just put your source or the citation at the beginning of the text and then it will be followed by the summary. And then the third format is the date heading format so in this type of format or in this type of summary format uh, the summarized idea comes after the date when the material was published so in this kind of format you will state 
confers the date of publication and it, it, it will be followed by the summarized text. So those are the formats that you may use when you are summarizing. So again, we have the idea uh, heading format wherein the summarized uh, version of the text comes first before your citation. Second, we have the author heading format wherein the name of the author or the source of the information comes first before the summarized text. And lastly, we have the date heading format wherein you will state first the date of publication and it will be followed by the summarized text. So those are the formats that you may use when you are writing your summary. So again, let me just remind you of our goal when we are summarizing. So when you do summarizing, your main goal is to identify the main idea or the key information of the text. Write it in your own words without changing its meaning. So if you have uh, a 10 paragraph text, okay, make it or your goal is to write it or to make it in or state the idea or the meaning of it in just a paragraph or two. So those are the characteristics of summarizing. Those uh, I have given you tips on how to summarize a long text. So now you may do it or you can do it uh, in, a, in an easier way without having difficulties in writing. So good luck on your uh, writing activities. So with that, I would like to thank you for listening and watching on this discussion video. Uh, just like what I'm always saying on our class. So, uh, have a great day ahead. Always stay safe keep or always have a positive mindset and stay healthy. Thank you.